Today's conversation is sponsored by the Billy Keels Advisory Program. If you want to learn more about how to make your nine to five optional, just go to billykeels.com forward slash advising. Once again, that's billykeels.com forward slash advising. You're listening to the Going Long Podcast, the number one podcast for the strategies, tactics, and actions high wage earners need for living an intentionally designed life of wealth and resilience. Welcome to the Going Long Podcast. We're back once again to continue to help to educate you so that you feel much more comfortable as well as confident in being able to create that wealthy and resilient life that you've always dreamed of. I'm your host, Billy Keels, and we're back once again to, uh, well, share another solo episode with you because ah, yeah, I guess you're liking these things. So at least that's what you're telling us. That's the feedback. That's what's happening when you are tagging us. And thank you so much for tagging us across social media, LinkedIn and Instagram specifically. Really, really appreciate that. You're helping to continue to bring the podcast to more and more people uh, that are part of the Going Along family. So thank you for doing that. Um, and it helps us to stay in the top 1.5% of podcasts according to listennotes.com. So check that out there. And, you know, I also want to say thanks for the honest written reviews as well as ratings. And if you have not done that yet, just take a couple seconds. It means the world to, uh, to me and to the team and the other Going Along family members. And also, too, if you want to take a listen or read the transcripts or watch any of the previous 300 plus episodes, just go to billykeels.com forward slash podcast. Once again, that's billykeels.com forward slash podcast. So today I want to talk to you about something that's super simple, very, very simple, and it makes a massively huge impact on helping to get you through those times that are challenging, literally. Um, today's going to be really, really brief episode because I want to share a very brief story and then I want to give you a very specific exercise that is going to be able to go across so many dimensions of your life and help you, especially in the moments, not just when things are going well, guess what? When things aren't going so well, and trust me, they're not going to be going well all the time. It's just part of life. There's moments, there's highs and there's lows. When you're in the lows, these being able to use this one simple question and I'm going to teach you how to use it in a very specific way. And I'm going to give you a very concrete example. So that should help you to gain even more clarity, hence to being able to gain clarity with one simple question. And I'm going to give you my own example um, because I had to use this in the past. And specifically, I was in a moment where I was like, I was in this transitionary moment of my life. Um, this was, I'm going back to my corporate days uh, when I was in corporate. Uh, of course, there was a certain moment in time where I felt the need that corporate was great. I really liked it. Things were going well. I was on the fast track. I was moving up. I was working a lot of crazy hours. And um, at the same time, I was bringing in great results. Great results. I realized later, maybe I didn't need to do so many hours, but well, we figured that out later. Um, you know, I really wanted to make a move. Uh, from corporate. I wanted to be able to get to a place where I felt like I could create my own path, be able to do it on in the way that I wanted to do that made the most sense for me, for my family, uh, also to for my for my young children. And I wanted to create that path on my own. Well, primarily because I started to be influenced by other people that I was uh, around, people that I had met thanks to the corporate job that I had, but they were small business owners, like small business owners, but really had a lot of control over the most important asset, this commodity that we talk about known as time, they were in control of their time. They were able to do the things that they wanted when they wanted to do with the people that they loved and cared about, most about. And so I got to that certain point in my career where I saw from others and I was you know, moving up, but I, I realized I didn't want to be the, the CEO of the company. I didn't want to be a regional CEO. I didn't even want to be the managing director of the specific country that I was living in or geography probably is a better way to state it because I wanted to get to a point where I wanted to depend on me um, for the good of my, myself, my family. And so at the same time, I knew based on the conversations that I was having with people that are already, that were already outside of the corporate walls that there were going to be moments that were going to be really hard. And if I didn't, if I wasn't clear on why I was doing what I was doing, and it sounded like a cliche, and there'd be maybe someone right now running on the treadmill and you're thinking to yourself, Billy, this is so cliche. The reality is it's cliche until it actually happens to you, until that moment that you're running away from pain. If you're not clear on why you're doing what you're doing, you're going to quit. Like you're just going to quit because things are going to get tough. And 
if you're not prepared, if your why is not strong enough, it's not clear enough, it's not big enough, and you have to be honest with yourself, there's a high probability that you're going to quit. So me, like a lot of people, uh, you know, and I've went through this phase and I th thought to myself, wow, you know what, even though I want to do this, like I'm fearful inside. Like I, I knew it in my gut. Like I was afraid I had the trembling. I had the sweaty pits. I was like the sweaty nose and just really concerned. Like I was fearful of failing. And one of the things that made a huge difference to me was one of the mentors that I had when I heard him talk about a specific reason why he built his company and why he continued to do it at the at the age and the financial or, or wealth security that he had, it really struck me massively when he said a little phrase that had, like the reason he was doing it had more to do with impact and impact on others than it had to do with income, like the money that he was making. And with me coming from a lower middle class family, I was thinking to myself, well, how is this even possible? Like, like this guy's not even thinking about money. He's thinking about impact on people. And I thought, wow, man, I've, I've got to figure this out. And so that's when I had this like moment of clarity where I was like, you know what? It, 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 I, I, now I'm starting to get it. Like he's not focused on money. That's why he keeps doing what he's doing because he's not doing this to make more money. He's doing this to make impact. Like he's flying all around the world because he wants to see and be a part of people breaking beyond what they think is possible, be able to actually make an impact on those people. And those individuals, those sales leaders, those corporate leaders, whatever the case may be. So I figured, you know what, if I want to do this, just like anything else, I need to sit down. I need to create a little plan. So that's what, exactly what I did. Um, I created a little plan. And then when I created my plan, I realized that, well, I had some money focused there. And so I had to figure out. And I talked to my mentor and he gave me this very simple thing and I actually realized that I'd heard it before. But when he said it to me, it was just it made it very, very different. and even though I put the plan in place, and I'm going to tell you exactly like the one question that you need to ask yourself. I put this plan in place. I thought the plan was great. But then even though I put this plan in place and actually started bringing assets in because right, I wanted to create my own path, res be responsible for myself. So I started investing in real estate. I've made no bones about that. I, that's where I started. It's not where I finished, but that's what got me started. And I realized that even though I had this really cool plan, I was attached to why I was doing it. And I'm going to give you the reasons or the, the question to ask yourself and, and kind of give you an exercise. But even though I had this plan, things still didn't work according to plan. Like I still had an issue uh, on one of the properties. I specifically think about one of the properties I purchased and I did not read the, this was right when I was getting started. I got a little bit overconfident, did not read um, the inspection report that I had. And it was pretty clear that there was an issue with the, um, with the roof. And that cost me about $25,000. Not fun. And I even had a plan. I was clear on the plan that I had. But let, let me, but, but before I um, get to that, what I realized is that I had taken action. I was clear on my why. And the reason that I was clear on my why, it allowed me at the age of 48 to be able to leave corporate life like I was able to leave. And it was great, right? Because I got to the place that I wanted to be able to get to spending more time with family, investing, investing more time with the family, as I, as I like to say, uh, being able to, to make more of an impact on, on people around the globe um, and doing that through my own business. And then eventually what I also realized was that having gone through this exercise, having taken action, more importantly, is it created the freedom that I was looking for, the freedom to, to be in, responsible for the time that I invested with others, the time that I focused on creating impact through my business through the personal relationships, the intentionality uh, in relationships that I was able to begin to pour into. And so it really was liberating for me to realize that I'd gone through this process. I gained this clarity by asking this one simple question. Not only what, did I leave corporate at 48, but I also had the, the, the knowledge, the know-how to be able uh, to do that and do it multiple times. So but let me, I, I said I was going to share this one exercise. So let me share this exercise with you. Um, and I'm going to provide it because I think it's the, the important part here is to recognize that it is asking one simple question five times, right? It's one simple question and you're going to do that five times. And that's going to help you gain the clarity, get in touch with the emotion that you're going to need. That's going to pull you through the moments that are the most difficult, right? So let me give you this example. And you probably heard something similar to this, but this is how you can use this one simple question five times 
to gain clarity. Because you've probably heard this many times before. Hey, well, Billy, why are you doing that? And I'm going into character, right? Billy, why are you why are you doing that? Why do you want to create that business? Well, I want to create it to make more money. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, why is that? Well, you know what? I, because I really want to feel secure because I watched my parents work multiple jobs and, and, and struggle and, and, and do that just to make ends meet. Well, well, okay. Well, yeah. So you watched your parents struggle, but why, Billy? Why is that important for you? Um, you know, why is it important for you to, to think about the, the struggles that your parents had? Well, it was important for me because I don't really ever want to go back to that lifestyle um, and have to have the, the stress and the strain. Um, it's not something I want to go back to. Well, that's interesting. Well, why didn't you want to go back to that? Well, I don't want to go back there because I want to be an example. I want to set an example for my son so that they understand that it's through hard work, um, determination, and clarity of vision that you're able to accomplish the goals that you set out to to set out to to accomplish. Well, why is that important to you, Billy? Why is it to to be able to set an example uh, for your sons? Why is that important? Well, because it's about our making sure that hard work, as I mentioned to you before, is one of the things that shows setting a clear goal and doing the work necessary is really going to allow you to accomplish anything that you want to be able to accomplish. I want them to know that they can do that. Well, why is that important for you, Billy? Well, helping to set the right example for my sons and, and showing that that is something that they can do gives me a sense of actualization that I've been a part of, of creating these two wonderful young men and playing a vital role in making an impact on their lives. You see what happened there? It was asking a very simple question five times, why, 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 to recognize that it's not about creating the business or creating the, or getting the next promotion or the job to make more money. It's really about making an impact, having a certain uh, impact, the status of a relationship. Uh, and so that is the one simple question that makes a massive, massive impact and help you to gain clarity. So asking that question, why, it's something that's going to make a very simple question, massive impact. So, and I know sometimes you may think to yourself, okay, well, yeah, but I, I don't really know how to get through that, or I may feel stuck, or I may not answer the right question. Well, maybe if it's something that you need a little bit of extra guidance, you need some help. Something that I am now doing um, through the Billy Keels Advisory Services is helping um, high paid professionals, people that are in high stress jobs, high profile jobs to be able to help you to create and find your inner strength to get to and create the life and the lifestyle that you want. Um, and being able to have this high value, high touch type of, of interaction through the advisory services. If any of this sounds like it's something that is interesting to you, something you want to learn more about, you can go to billykeels.com forward slash advising. There's a simple application page. You can fill that out. If it makes sense, we'll get in touch with one another. The great part is you can do this exercise today Try it on your own. See what it's like, right? That's one of the things that you get by being here, continuing to invest your time here. So while you're doing this, while you're taking the five wise exercise, practicing, getting clear on or gaining clarity around why you really truly want to do something so that it helps you to propel you to take more action, to get to your goals much faster, I'll be here preparing for the next conversation or solo episode. So until then, go out and make it a great day. And thank you very much. Today's conversation was sponsored by the Billy Keels Advisory Program. If you're looking to make your nine to five optional and need some help, just go to billykeels.com forward slash advising. Once again, that's billykeels.com forward slash advising.